and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I thought I would sit down and film a nice little throwback video where I show you what I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of you may know from previous videos of mine that I live in London and so I'm going to be sharing everything that I carry with me as someone who lives in the city and who works um, in retail. So I have to commute to work every single day. I'm not sure how to quite phrase that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we look into my bag, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the bag itself. So I have the Uniqlo mini round shoulder bag. I think that's the way the title flows. So it's just this bag right here. I'm pretty sure you've already seen it online. It's gone extremely viral. It's been sold out because of TikTok. And I have it in two colors. So I have this neutral beige right here that is coming up a little bit kind of white on camera, but it's like a nice beige um, kind of sandy cream color, just very neutral. And then I have the black one as well. So both of these bags I got in the original launch. Uh, the material has changed a little bit from what I've seen, but it's not that much different. And the actual size of the bag and the compartments are all the same. So I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I take um, with me just on a day-to-day -day basis. I carry these bags with me like 90% of the time. I'm wearing one of these Uniqlo bags and I take it with me to work. I take it to hang out with friends. I've taken it traveling as well. So they're really great practical bags, which is the reason why I went for these neutral colors. I love the colorful ones, especially they have like an orange, brown and green that I really like but I didn't want to have like 10 of them at the moment, at least for now. Um, so I thought I would stick with the two very nice neutral colors so that I can wear them every day and still feel like they go with my outfits. So if you don't know already, the Uniqlo bag is split into three uh, compartments. It has one main one right when you open up the bag and then it has two little pockets on one side of the bag and that's kind of how it's split. So today we're, I'm gonna be showing you everything, what I keep in the main compartment and what I keep in the two little side ones that are just really easy for me to get on the go. The black bag is the one I am currently using to take to work. Just the past few days I've been gravitating towards this one and that's why I have my claw clip on it. I always have the claw clip um, on either bag that I'm taking with me just because it's really easy. You never know when you're gonna have to put your hair up, especially now in London, it's gonna start getting warm for the summer. And you might want to have to put your hair up in the tube if it gets like really warm and sweaty and gross. So first thing is that I have my clock lip right there. So I'm just going to open up the bag and I have everything in here. I'm pretty sure that I carry with me. I haven't like unpacked the bag or anything. So there's going to be no order to this. I'm just going to kind of get what I have and just list it out to you to show you what I carry. And also I haven't packed this to the brim. Like it does fit more stuff than this, but this is what I need on a day-to-day -day basis, but you can pack, like, I have before carried everything that I would mention today, plus, like, a small water bottle in here. You can carry a lot um, with it. So, actually, I've just noticed I don't have my wallet here because it's by my door, so I'll be right back. There we go. Let's pretend I never left. Okay, now we can get started. So, first thing I have is my wallet. Wow, I was in here the whole time. So, we have my wallet, um, which has my keys as well. Then I have some tissues. Never know when you're gonna need them. So next, I have here a little um, extra carrier bag. This bag has come in handy a lot of times for me. I actually got it from my aunt um, who lives in Poland. And it's just really nice to have this with you because you don't wanna pay for shopping bags when you don't plan on going out shopping. So it's nice to carry one. Like I said, this bag does fit a lot, but it doesn't necessarily fit very big things. Um, so if I do like an impromptu grocery stop, I like to have something like this with me so that I don't have to keep wasting money on bags and also wasting plastic as well. So a little carrier bag. I have my um, work ID that I can't show, but that's in there as well because I work five times a week, so I just keep it in here. I have some baby lotion and the reason why I have the baby one right now is because I just got some tattoos recently and they're still in the healing process. So this lotion, it's like unscented clean lotion and that's kind of what i needed for the tattoo so i carry that with me usually i just carry like the nevia um, hand cream but i have that one for now because of the tattoos and then i have my super handy portable charger and cord of course i cannot risk my phone going out of battery just because nowadays no one can really afford for their phone to die um and then in the main compartment i also have this compact mirror and brush Funny enough, I rarely ever use the brush. Like I hate having food in my teeth. So if I'm eating out and I don't have a mirror nearby, I will use this to just like quickly check if I have food in my teeth. And then last thing in this main compartment here is my Kindle. I use this um, obviously to read, especially on the tube. I have the super cute little Harry Styles 
um, pop socket in it that one of my co-workers made for me, which I just love so much. Big Harry fan. All of that is what was in my main compartment. Let's move on now to the little pockets. In the little pockets, I have two of them. And the first one has my hand sanitizer and my lip balm. Two things that I like to have handy on the go, especially the hand sanitizer. So I like to keep that in its own little pocket. And then I also have in the other pocket, my AirPods, which stand alone unless I have my camera with me. If I have my camera with me, that goes in the main compartment and then the spare battery would go in the same little pocket as the AirPods. Just cause batteries can die very quickly. So I like to take an extra one with me just in case. But like I said, it was quite a quick video this week. Really wanted to do this little sit down video to share because I love watching them and I'm obsessed with the Uniqlo bags. That's everything, we've emptied out my bag and now you know what I carry with me on a day to day basis. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Your support does not go unnoticed and I truly, truly mean that. I love creating these videos. I have a huge passion for it and I want to be able to create a video every single week. At the moment, I'm sticking to about three times a month so I can have one week for kind of like a reset, refresh. But besides that, if you want to stay tuned for my next video, which will be coming the next week after this one, it's going to be a video where I break down everything that I've spent in May while living in London and also while traveling. I had quite a big trip, so that's going to be quite juicy what I spent in a month video. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell, which I'm really hoping is on the side of the screen. I think it is, if not right here. But regardless, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.